Hello everybody, it's Suffolk Blue, all the way from merry old England. How the devil are you? I hope you're well. Welcome back to another Attack of the Bee Team Minecraft Let's Play series. And today, as promised, we are going to make a start on something new. Um, doesn't that house look excellent from up here though? What a fabulous building. Um, but we're going to start something on... So oh, get off, get off the building. And this is what we're going to start work on. This is going to be our dairy. Um, our ice cream place, where we're going to have some ice creams made. Um, but essentially this is our dairy and this area here is where our dairy cows are going to be able to graze around and do what they do and then every so often they're going to be drawn in to be automatically milked excellent so we're going to make a start today on this I brought across some of the materials we're already going to need and I'll talk you through some of the stuff we haven't used before like the autonomous activator and the sewers all that good stuff in due course um, but the first thing to sort of talk about, I suppose, is why I've, the layout that I've got here with all this dirt and everything around. I've already done the hard bit, the, the, the boring bit, and I've already dug out all the base and put in a good strong layer of concrete all the way along the bottom. Just to talk you through the building here, this long building here is actually going to be our sort of dairy, it's got our ice cream factory type thing. It's the place where we're going to store our ice creams and, you know, we're going to come and get ice cream and we'll have some freezer units in here and all that sort of stuff. Marvellous. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks for the noise. I'm going to just turn that. I don't know whether that's going to be too loud, but let's just let's just whip that down. Fabulous. Just turn that down a little bit. So this is good. As I say, it's going to be our ice cream factory to the main street. Wonderful. This bit here is actually our pumping room and our tank area. These are going to be where our tanks are going to be. Having two tanks full of milk. Oh, marvellous. And it's a thunderstorm. So it's not even a normal rain. That's a bit odd. It's not raining here. Oh. It's raining here. It's not raining here. <laughs> uh, it's not raining here now either. Oh, yes it is. How bizarre. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Where are you? You know, the, everything's a bit strange. This seems a bit odd. Is it daytime? Can I sleep this off? Ooh. Lots to do today. Haven't we really got time for thunderstorms and all sorts? Let's go and check the clock. What time is it? Oh, it should be daytime, so we shouldn't be able to sleep this off. Oh well. We'll make the best of it. Nothing dodgy on the horizon like a tornado or anything, so it looks good. Um, just ignore the thunder. Hopefully you can't see it or hear it. Um, so this, yes, this is going to be our pumping room. These bits here where our autonomous activators are going to be. There'll be another two autonomous activators over here. This is a self-pumping system. All right, so it's it's all a bit... Uh, it's a bit... Oh, I know why. It's because there's that island up there is stopping all the rain coming down. Well, that's quite handy. Um, so it's a self-pumping system. So the system will... Go away. Thank you. The system will milk the cow, empty the bucket, refill the, uh, refill the machine. This here is going to be our entrance for the cows. So the cows are going to be merrily wandering around doing their thing. Now, let me talk to you about realism, if I may, for a second. Okay, we're going to the non-rainy part so I can talk to you. Um, I'm going to have this system not as an intensive dairy. So we're not going to pack this piece of land full of as many cows as you can get in that square in that square area. We're not going to do that. This is more about realism. It's about creating um, workable buildings with a bit of Attack of the Bee Team magic thrown in. But, you know, don't necessarily have to work at maximum 100% efficiency and all that sort of stuff. I'm not interested in 100% efficiency. I'm sort of interested in the realism of it all. So cows are going to be able to come in here get to here, get milked, and then get spat out again, and they can just sort of wander around and do what they want to do. So that's the explanation of the building. The next thing, really, is to get rid of some of this dirt and actually begin the build. Uh, I'm going to take off, to start with, let's get rid of these. Seriously, dudes. Thank you. Let's just dig these out. And I'm going to use brick again for this build, I think. Um, I might do half the sort of halfy half. I'm really interested in keeping this bit really clean. This is sort of the clean area where the cattle come in. I've got some ideas, actually, about... And I'm going to put in the first part of our sewage works 
Um, so we're actually going to get some sewage out of the dairy. I don't know if I can sleep yet. Yes! Sleeping this off. Ah. Haven't quite got there with the furniture yet. I got distracted. <laughs> Lovely and quiet. Okay. So, yes, let's begin just by digging off this dirt. What we're going to do on the top here, I think we're going to build this out of brick for the dairy, uh, for the, sorry, the non-dairy, the ice cream factory part. It will be brick. And then the other part at the top, I might make out of a, um, a marble cobblestone effect. Um because I want that sort of clean white whoops that clean whitewash look um, I think that would be pretty cool so that might be whitewash and then in the inside on this track where we're actually doing the milking of the cows I'm probably going to make put that as aluminium so this is a really impractical build <laughs> this build is not about you know best use this is much more about the look of this building and then and its function than it is about being you know super efficient. I hate concrete, it runs so fast on it. So there's the plan from the sky. Alright, let's go and first and foremost I'm going to put in the floor for the ice cream hall and I think I'm going to use... yeah I am going to use this. This sort of parquet, birchwood parquet flooring because I think it looks pretty cool. We'll put that there as well. Just pop this in. I thought I heard a creeper behind me then. <laughs> oh dear. Just the very sound of a creeper now scares the hell out of me. Let's take off. Get some berry medleys going inside. Lovely. And this principle of using autonomous activator, if you've never used an autonomous activator, is basically a block which does a mouse click for you. Now it can be a right mouse click or a left mouse click. But that's essentially what it's doing. Um, it's just doing a mouse click for you. Um, and as long as you point it at whatever you want to do the click on, um, it does work really reasonably well. Uh, let's take some bricks now and just start building up this part to start with. Because I want to see how I can sort of blend... Oops, some of this in straight away. I made that wrong. Thank you. So another brick building at this end. Lots of brick at this end. Whoops, that's okay. For now. Uh, this is going to be brick. This one off. Uh, this is going to be brick. I want this to be brick. To there. I think some of those will have to come out in a second, but it's okay. So we're just putting that in there like that. Actually, let's take you out. I'm just going to put the windows in. This is going to have long, thin windows, not double length. Sort of an old industrial look that uh, we used to have over here in the UK, where we had these sort of brick buildings with these sort of long, tall windows. So that one, that one, that one, that one, this one, this one. Fabulous. Obviously, there's going to be a huge amount of microblocking on this building because it's me, so there has to be. So, just building this around at the moment, seeing what the general feel is going to be and how it sits in the landscape because you don't want to build anything that's too huge. Let's cut that across there. Double doors that will lead out onto the road. Fabulous. Then, over here. Start to build this up. There's no, I don't think there's going to be any windows in this part because this is all about a clean area, keeping it clean, keeping the milk clean and fresh. There's a lot of that going on. And I think these bits I'm going to put into um, white cobblestone marble, I think. Let's go and grab some of that and see how that looks. If you can imagine, it's like it's been whitewashed, although we're not going to be using the little bricks of marble. Um, I don't want to do little bricks and marble. I'd much rather use this sort of look. 
because I think it gives a different texture to the brick. If you have too much brick, it just looks well too bricky, to be fair. Um, but this helps just break it up a little bit, make it look a little different. There, there, and there. Now, do I like that? Let's have a look. I do like that. I don't like the in for, for the inside, though. This is where we might get a bit expensive. Because what I'm going to do, I think... Let's grab me... Oh, I've already got one on me. Okay. I've got some aluminium as well. We're not using iron for this one. We're going to use some aluminium. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this down into halves. I'm going to do the same with these bricks. I might need to go and get some more bricks soon. That's fine. Um, what am I doing? Well... Uh, I want the outside to be um, the white, sort of clean look, um, whitewash. But the inside, I don't. The inside, I think I want to have metal like that. Still that white colour though, which is going to be quite nice. Um, and there. And then on the outside, I'm going to put in... Uh, I didn't cut any in half, did I? Let's just take a whole stack and do that. And then on the outside, we're looking at doing that. Oops. So this is by no means the most efficient way of building something, let me tell you. But it gives me the look that I want on the inside, and it gives me the look that I want on the outside. And then on this last one here, actually, I can do that. Because that's actually going to be outside, I think. Oh, actually, mm, mm. yeah, then, um, uh, no, let's take that out. <laughs> Changed my mind. Um, so I'm going to go round and I'm going to build this up. Um, today, what we're really going to be focusing on, what I really want to focus on, it's not just the the general build, um, but to have a look at the autonomous activators, put them in place, and start building the rest of this unit around them, so that it gives you an idea of what these things are going to look like when they're done. So I'm going to go around and build these up and then when we come back you'll have seen a little bit of uh, a little bit of progress. So I shall be right back. Okay, welcome back everybody. So here we are. We're done we've done a little bit more work. All right. So I've just built up the walls to the height that I want them to be. You can see how the long thin windows are going to go in here. Um, you can sort of get a feeling of what this is sort of going to look a bit like a church um, in here at the moment. So this building is not going to be quite as high as the cannery next door, uh, and it's going to be about the same height, maybe a bit shorter, than the farmhouse. Um, I know that the dairy looks like a giant white massed blob at the moment, but it's okay. Um, I'll just take you through there in a second. Just eat that up. So this is where all the cows are actually going to come through and be milked. You can see We've put all the aluminium too high so it's nice and clean. I've got to put some strip lighting actually in um, along here and around here. So they've always got plenty of light in here uh, so we don't get any mobs or anything growing up. Now, this floor through here I've done, and I've just done the factory block, but I like the grating effect because, again, it has that sort of factory hygiene, you know, sprayed down to keep it clean type of thing going on, which I like. Um, oh, I've missed some bricks. Let's put some bricks in. There we go. Go in there for now. Um, is that going to have to go around one more? No, I do hope not. Should be okay. Um, so, what are we going to do here? Well, I'm actually going to take this concrete out actually because what I'm going to do, as I said, this is all about hygiene. We're going to keep this clean. So, one of the things we're going to have to do is deal with the hygiene necessary from the cattle. So, actually, I'm going to whip out really quickly all of this concrete around here because we're actually going to have a bit of pipe work going on down here. Um, I wonder if I was to dig straight across from here. Where's my spade? I wonder where I'm going to come out. Let's go. Sorry for the darkness. Hopefully there's a water outlet over here somewhere. Yay! Whoop! Fabulous. Now have I... I haven't broken the surface anywhere. So... Um, what we're going to need to do then, let's go and grab ourselves some of the pipes. How many of these we've got? We'll have to go make some more fluid ducts, maybe. Absolutely, definitely, in fact. 
Um, but you'll get an idea. This is the idea, alright? So we're going to lay... We're going to lay these uh, around... Like that. Same with this one. And if you can imagine, although this hasn't been quite finished off yet, that's going to disappear under there for a way. Okay. And then what we're going to do on top of there is we're going to place our sewers. So as our cattle move through the dairy, any dirt and effluent and sewage and everything that they do, all the cow pats, will disappear. Uh, that should be okay. Now I don't think I have to do anything on top of here at all. Do these hold sewage without me having to do anything? If I just do that a couple of times. Do you collect any sewage? Yes it does. Awesome you see. So what I'm going to do, I don't need to do anything. To I'm just going to put in these grates all the way, whoops, all the way down in here. So as the cattle move around the system, they're actually going to be going through um, a hygiene sort of take that take the uh, take the sewage away, and that's going to go down that pipe eventually out all the way over to here, which is where our sewage works are going to be. Yeah, see what I'm doing now? Do you see it? Do you see it? So all of that's going to go over that way. But of course, um, I'm not going to put the conveyor belts in. But actually, there's going to be conveyor belts on the top of all of these. Yeah. So there'll be conveyor belts running all the way around here, all the way around here, and out again. So that's how the cattle will sort of get caught if they stand, you know, and I might put another one out here just to sort of pull them in a little bit or, you know, so that they get caught up. Um, it's now night time. Let's quickly go and sleep it off because I don't really want to get a load of mobulars before we've got anywhere. Up, up, up. Still got to finish this this furniture off in here. <sighs> Have a kip. In the warm and cosy farmhouse. How does that look from the window anyway? Is that sort of a giant big? And that's fine. And from these windows down here, yeah, look okay. Superb. So let's get our autonomous activators in, and I'll talk you through these and how I'm going to set them up. Uh, let's take these four. We will need four. Uh, okay, let's turn around this way. So, oops, doesn't matter at the moment because we've got our little crescent hammer. We can flick these around and get them as we want them. Marvelous. So where that cross is, is where the action will happen. So, as I said, these are a bit like a right or left click, if you like. And I want them facing this way, so as the cows go past the right, the, the right click, and it will be the right click that I use, um, will actually affect them here, um, and will affect the cow as it passes this way. I'm going to need some item ducks. Because what we're going to do, we're going to, oops, we're going to need, um, I've got the impulse ones, haven't I? And I'm going to need some chests, might need some of these, anything else? Not yet. So, what we're going to have from here, um, and how is this going to come out of here? It's going to come through this wall at the side. So, this orange is an output. It's going to go that way. And then it's going to go through this wall. Okay. Uh, this one is going to go over the door. <laughs> oh dear. And go out that way. So those pipes are going to go into two tanks, which are going to be external outside the dairy, um, which is fine because these are impulse ones, so these will be really quick. That isn't a problem. There's no problem there. It just means that I can get in and out of the dairy without breaking my neck, um, which is fantastic. Let's go and set these up so I can show you how I'm going to set these up. Redstone ignore. So these are just going to work all the time. They're not going to need a switch. 
Uh, we're going to use right click because when you milk a cow, that's what you use. It's the button you use. Um, we want round robin, so any th any of the th items in this nine uh, three by three or nine uh, square grid will um, will be used. Anything that's in there, just ra randomly round robin. Uh, what we're going to want though is um, some chests. Actually, I want to take you out and you out. Okay, and the chest. Where did I put them? I'm sure I picked them up. There they are. Don't need to be massive. They're not storing a lot of things. A single chest will be fine. Will suffice. There we go. And then in between here, I'm going to put that and that. All right, and then. Let's think about this map, think about it. Actually, you're wrong, you don't need to be up. But that's where the pipes, well, you know, not the pipes, but it's where the autonomous activator is going to be, is actually in this wall. So if I put an autonomous activator uh, here, and if I do the same here, these autonomous activators will be doing the same job as me clicking to empty the buckets into tanks. So the tanks will be here in a second and they'll actually touch those um, uh, autonomous activators. What I'm going to do is, let's think about this, I'm going to come in there, so here and here will come out. And let's think about this, you've got to come from there into there, I shall probably put something like, or that won't be this I use, something like that in the way, okay? Because I don't want these to touch, okay? They don't need to touch. So we're going to have to do an awful lot of these, I think. It's okay. Oh, actually, we could go higher and then they won't touch. That's a good idea. Along the top into there. Alright, let's just whip out these ones. Out, out. Uh, you'll be okay for a second. Let's just build up. Have I not got any? Just cut these in half. There we go. There we go. So we're just going to cut these in half so they can't touch. So, what will happen? Okay, think about this. I haven't done all the things. Actually, let's do that so you can see it work. Uh, first and foremost, this needs to be an output. At the moment, it's uh, it's orange. So it's an output. That's correct. So that's going to be an output from here. It's going to go around the system and become an input here. And that one that means that this one here has to be blue, not orange. So let's just change that using again the configuration button. This I need to be blue. So this is buckets going in. All right, that's blue. That's fine. What I'm also going to need then is this side here being an orange because it will. The, the, the milk bucket will go into here, it will empty itself by using a right click into the tank, that will create another empty bucket, this one becomes an output, uh, is it that one? Yes, that's an output. So the empty bucket comes out here, up here, right around the top, and back into the chest, and then the chest will spit it back out again, straight back into the machine, ready for the next cow. That will create a milk bucket with a right click, actually we need to change the top, the top needs to be Oops, blue as an input. So the bucket goes into the autonomous activator, does another right click when a cow comes past, out comes the milk bucket, milk bucket goes all the way around into the autonomous activator, does a right click into the tank, fills up the tank, empty bucket created, comes out of here, round the system, back into there, and there. And that's the sort of it for the dairy in, in the sense that it doesn't need a great deal of uh, more than that. Can I cut this in into bits so I can get some yeah, separation material. I probably will use brick actually because it. Does, oops. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Thank you. Oops. Yeah, I like that. Just cut this down into shapes so that I've got enough. Um, I need some more panels, basically. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoops. There we go. So 
Same thing here. Boom. Just to tidy that up. Obviously this one comes in and goes around the bottom rather than over the top and down. Which is quite nice because it means I can probably have a window in there now. Um, this one comes out of here then. Into here. Up. 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 And then we can go across. Although we have just run out of ducks. But I think I've got loads more back at the house. Let's go and grab them. So it's going to be a self-contained system. That's all it's going to do. Um, I don't need a thousand buckets. Sometimes you see people literally you know, fill these things full of buckets. You actually don't want to do that at all because all you'll end up doing is meaning you'll probably clog your system up with buckets rather than with milk buckets which is what you really want. Um, so having a bit of space is fine. You don't need lots and lots of buckets. Just enough will do. Superb. And they're going to go back into that one. So the next thing really is to just get this set up exactly the same as the other one. Um, that's an output. Is it not? Yeah. Not you. Ugh. You're an output. Let's just get this configured. Uh, redstone is going to be off for this. Uh, configuration is uh, that's and that's an out we want that as an orange. So that's now an output for the empty buckets to come out and go up. This one is now an input for the milk. Input output input output input output. Let's just change the top one into an input and by Jove I think the only thing we need to do now is just put in some of these because I like to control all of my all of my joints just means that I can do what I like with them I think I've got them all Superb. So starting with this one, turn that off. I need an empty bucket. Have I got an empty bucket? Did I make a bucket? No, I also need a milk bucket. But that's the base Well, actually, I'll do that off camera. You don't need to see me do that, making buckets and all that sort of stuff. But effectively, I'm going to go around and set all these up so they know what to expect. But that's the dairy, automatic dairy part. That's the machine bit, if you like, done. Um, that's how simple that is to set up. Um, what we need obviously is some lights in there to do stuff. Um, and then we can also look at setting up, and as we come through here you see, what I also will do is I really would like to cover up um, some of these things. So if I take one of these and just slim it down into a panel, and then I can just do that there and that there. So the movement of the cow will not be impeded at all. And then with... Actually, I suppose I could do... There. And there. Okay. So, now you're not going to see anything at all. The cow's at the right height anyway, so that's going to be fine. Cow can't jump, so that's not fine. And then be spat out again. So, that's that part of the auto dairy. I think we'll call this an episode. When we come back next time, we'll look at the tanks and we'll see how we can make um, how I'm going to make the tanks um, we we'll might get a couple of cows and give it a test run although we are also going to need to put in our conveyor belts and I've got those and that's going to be fine as well so I think we'll call this an episode thanks very much for watching um, as I say you know if you need any help with doing any of this if you want me to go over anything again just let me know I'll do a quick how to on it but I think it's pretty I think it's pretty um, self-explanatory. All of these will be closed up using brick hollow panels so you won't actually see any of this anyway besides they will be behind the enormous tanks which are going to be pretty huge on the side of our dairy. So thanks very much for watching. Um, love to, you know, if you've liked the video please do give it a like. It means an awful lot to me um, and share it with uh, all your other subscribers and your friends etc. Um, you can follow me on Twitter um, if you want to find out what's going on or indeed if you want to find out what the score of the uh, latest Seahawks game is um, thanks very much for watching I um, hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time